Good evening, Liberty Drive students and families. I am Miss Talent. I am the principal at Thomasville Primary School. I absolutely love to read and I'm so excited to be a part of your one book, one school and read a section of the one and only Bob. We are going to continue reading on page 184. What's out there? A handful of humans, firefighters and police mostly, have begun to roam the ground checking out the damage. We pass a park employee with a weapon slung over his shoulder and a net in one hand. Trank gun, he tells a passing police officer. We don't know what's out there. She nods. How fast do they work? On something like a big cat, he shakes his head. Not fast enough. I look over at Ruby. Stay close, kid. As we near the gorilla villa, what's left of it anyways, a screech hits my ears that makes the wailing police sirens sound like mewling kittens. It's Kenyani. She frantically knuckling running back and forth near the collapsed gorilla villa. Chunks of cement, shredded wooden beams, and bent metal lie everywhere. A cluster of gorilla females and juveniles huddle not far from the rescue workers. There's mama! Kudzu cries, dashing towards a gorilla named Jody. I'm so horrified by the destruction that I've almost forgotten my muddy little charge. I really shouldn't be trusted in an ape sitter. Kudzu darts over to the mother's waiting embrace. Jody nuzzles her and strokes her, saying soothingly motherly gorilla things. Thank you, Jody mouths to me. Don't thank me, I say looking over at Ruby. Thank this little gal. She figured out how to save Kudzu. Thank you. Ruby, isn't it? Ivan's friend? Ruby gives a shy nod. We all helped. I provided moral support, I added. I flew, Mama, says Kudzu. Of course you did, dear, says Jody. Kenyani's fresh wails focus my mind. I gotta go, I say. Ruby, you shouldn't stay here. I'm going for a no-nonsense voice the one Julia uses when she calls me Robert. Let me see what's what, I'll be right back. No way, Uncle Bob, Ruby replies just as firmly. I give up, but I'm afraid what she might see of what we both might see. Any sign of Ivan, I ask Jody. She shakes her head, a grim look clouding her eyes. With Ruby by my side, we approach the pile of wreckage that used to be the Gorilla Villa. At the same moment, Ruby and I gasp. There's Ivan's hand, barely peeking through the rubble. I know that hand like the back of my own paw. No, Ruby screams, Uncle Ivan. I check the crowd, no sign of Julia or George, nothing, no Maya either, or other keepers I recognize. Just a, flu just a few employees, several rescue workers, and two or three dazed looking visitors. Is he alive? A firefighter asks. Hand, whatever it's called, isn't moving, says another. Weaving, weaving my way through the tangle of legs, I climb up the rubble pile, sniff a bit, and bark my loudest. Yes, he's alive. Get your rears in gear, bark. Just like those overachieving rescue dogs in the man's best friend show. I listen for a sound from Ivan, a grunt, a cry for help, nothing. Still, he smells alive. At least I think he does, and that's good enough for me. Zena, another dog rescues, races over. A tough looking German shepherd wearing an impressive glow in the dark vest and some booty things to protect her feet from the rubble. But I hold my ground. This is my friend we're talking about. I lick Ivan's hand, his fingers twitch. Well, that's all it takes to get both of us barking like maniacs. More people gather. I see Maya next to Ruby, which makes me feel better. Name Zena, she says the shepherd, Bob. I nudge Ivan's fingers with my nose. Nothing. And this is Ivan, my best bud. Sorry to hear it, she replies. I don't like the sound of her voice. With great care and far too slowly for my taste, rescue workers begin removing chunks of wreckage and tossing them to one side. Zena and me, we mostly stay out of the way, but every so often I lick Ivan's hand just so he knows we've got him covered. 
I glanced over at Maya and Ruby. Maya is wiping tears from her eyes while she strokes Ruby's ears. Ruby is giving Maya a comforting trunk hug. Good old Ruby, wise behind, beyond her years, that gal. I checked the crowd again. Still no sign of Julia or George. And that's when a sickening thought hits me like a bite to the belly. What if Ivan isn't the only one under the rubble?